Bald Face Park shoot was one that we did in conjunction with the North Face for their X Games commercials. Bald Face is super magical. It's in interior BC and it's just this premier cat skiing operation secluded up in the mountains. They've never really built any jumps or any features there. So we had to kind of figure out the landscape from the perspective of creating a terrain park. We had the North Face team, so we had some of the park riders that I don't ever get to ski with. We were shooting for commercial spots, so we had a large shot list that wasn't all just about action and hitting these features. The concept for the spots was the process that the athletes go through from the time they're at the top about to drop in, getting their equipment ready, psyching themselves up, dropping in, throwing their tricks, and landing in the exhilaration of landing. We wanted to shoot a bunch of stuff from a different perspective that a lot of people don't get to see. Logistics in this space are huge. You know, you have the athletes, you have the production guys, the people who run the location. It's exciting, but challenging and, and exhausting at times as well. Going into the trip, a main motivator for why I wanted to go there was because of the all the toys we had. And really the crown jewel of it all was the Phantom HD Gold. My name is Brian Schultz and I'm a Phantom camera technician. This camera will shoot a thousand frames per second. These things that go by so fast in real time, when you slow those down, it really allows you to see what's going on. We have it tethered to a computer with the tech running it. it makes it challenging because usually our crews are very small and compact and lightweight. It's slower to work with, but when you see the end result, you're gonna be really happy because we're doing something that's unique and isn't done every day. And action. Additional production tools that we had were a cine slider. We've got the uh, Kessler crane here on the K-Pod with the red camera, pretty dope ass setup. Yeah, give me your three, two, one. Three, two, one. All these different tools allow us to give you a different angle or a different perspective, and it really upped our efficiency and the amount of shots that we were able to get. The aerial perspective is one of the coolest in the world. When I have yeah. your goal in my head, like, then we can make it happen. Yeah. For sure. Let's pretend like, like, I'm in the machine right now. Coming down the road, and we'll be shooting now. I'm trusting you to like kind of line up Time the ladder, and yeah. then it's like, boom, yeah. sure. And we turn, I and then I'm like, come down that road. When we're in the air and we're trying to time a pattern, it's absolutely key and critical that our communication is super solid so that the camera can start and finish in the place we want it to while the action's occurring. The weather reports have been calling for cloud and stuff. We've been really fortunate to get the great weather, but on the flip, we've been having some pretty high winds. We got a storm coming. Storm's brewing. Wind's picking up. <laughs> 